uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and buy an expensive language learning program and get started. That's it. And then, then I'll learn, I'll learn the language. <laughs> uh, that's great. I think that if you take that first step and get that program, you buy that program, that's a wonderful thing, especially if you can start it and keep going with the program and finish it and perhaps get part two and part three and keep going with the language. However, the problem is often what's going to happen is that the person will go and fork out all that money to buy that expensive program and they're going to, it's just going to collect dust on their, on their shelf. That's it. They're not actually going to finish the program. And that's a bit heartbreaking because it's a waste of money and a waste of the person's time. And not only that, but the, their initial passion for learning the language has gone down. Often they feel that they haven't progressed quickly enough or uh, they just simply say, oh, hey, I'm just not great at, uh, at learning languages. So what to do? Well, first, I think it's really important to recognize that any one specific program won't be enough for you to actually learn how to speak the language. It can be a good starting point. Any decent uh, specific program may be a good starting point. And there's many great uh, apps, cell phone apps uh, nowadays as well, available for, uh, uh, for learning a language. And they can be great starting points. However, they are not uh, specifically, if you take just one of them, it won't be enough for you to actually learn the language. Uh, I believe that the key is to try different things, try a few different apps, try a few different programs. And, and you know what? It, you don't have to actually buy the most expensive one out there. There are great resources that are either free or really cheap. And that way you can start learning. You can see what works for you. You can start working with material that you're actually excited about. And that's one thing too. If you get a program that you find boring, that can be a problem because you're not going to be very excited to, um, to actually do it. Right. So we have to have an insane discipline if we're using a boring program. But let me tell you what, lang learning a language can be exciting if you choose the right tools. And that's really, really important. You can stay motivated. You can keep going with the process and succeed and listen to polyglots. There are great polyglots out there um, who want to give you advice on how to learn a language. And they've done it many times before. So uh, you can learn from their mistakes. And I'm, I'm a polyglot myself. I'm sharing my ideas as well. And uh, you can subscribe to my blog, to my, to my um, YouTube channel to actually get some advice as well and progress more quickly, get motivated for learning a language and make it happen. So that's it, my friends. Good luck learning a language.